Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. I'm Chef Christine Cushing, and I'm determined to teach hopeless cooks how to be fearless in the kitchen. Today I work with Elena, a mom who's just a mess in the kitchen. Just a little bit. I don't want to. She goes from wrecking chicken, this chicken died in vain, to a complicated pastry at a high-end restaurant. I don't think I want to serve that. Will her cooking be stuck in the dark ages? Okay. Will kill the chicken? <laughs> Or can she finally cook a meal her son can stomach? Okay, just stay away. Stand back. Yeah, I'm nervous. Elena's a lot of things. A mom, a law clerk, and a fitness instructor. The one thing she's not, good in the kitchen. Elena is a horrible cook. The worst. <laughs> I just watched her yesterday, and um, I was a little scared of what was in the pot. The stuff I produced uh, looks horrible. But that doesn't stop her from trying. My mom sometimes makes chicken. Although we think it's chicken, but it's, it's not very good. She made us cottage cheese pancakes. I did have some last night, and uh, my stomach's still a little upset today. <laughs> I don't really like them. Olena's son is about to leave home for university, and she wants to be sure her bad cooking won't keep him away. When I cook for my son, I want so bad for him to, to love her. So my heart is broken when I see him, you know, that he doesn't like it. I'm a Ukrainian, and you know, Ukrainian women, you, you must cook. My aim is to whip Olena's culinary skills into shape. If I'm successful, her son Daniel will be begging for his mom's cooking. This is my kitchen. Well, it's a beautiful kitchen. So tell me a little bit about what happens to you when you cook. It's horrible. Oh. <laughs> I boil. I know how to boil. You know how to boil. Stop. Okay. Well, Stop. check. We have one thing that you know how to do. Why do you think you want to learn how to cook now, Elena? What's different about now? This is the time when my son goes to university and I cannot uh, prepare dinner for him. So you cook him something and what happens? When he sees the food and I look at his face, he I see he's not happy. So you want to make him something where he's going to taste it and go, wow, my mom made this and I love it. And right now it's a huge concern that he would not like to come back to me. <laughs> okay, I, I definitely want to be able to help you with that. So the first step in that is for me to see you cook on your own. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready no for that? No surprises. Olena's son loves fried chicken, so I want to see how she makes it. So what you're going to make for me is fried chicken. Okay, now you have a whole bunch of ingredients that you can choose from. You don't have to use them all, but I want to get a sense of how your mind works in the kitchen. Okay? I, think I will surprise you. <laughs> because the only thing which looks familiar is just the oil and the chicken. <laughs> oh, I see salt. I think I'm fine. Okay. It's um, a chicken leg with salt. So should I use more? I stand back. Okay, so I need to add water. Add water? You're frying chicken. It's another dangerous thing, so please uh, stay away. Okay, now it's frying, so I need to add some oil. So this is the most bizarre frying of chicken I've ever seen in my life. Fry the chicken, then add water. When that water evaporates, add more oil and fry it again. <laughs> So I think it's ready. That is one lonely leg of not so fried chicken. You can add some ketchup. <laughs> you know what? You're gonna taste it before I do. I wanna make sure I can survive till tomorrow. <laughs> this is not a good scene. Just eat it. <laughs> I would tell too much. But stuff. mom, it's I healthy. don't like it. 
That is like a symphony of nastiness. Wow, this is gonna be a tough one for me, but I really want Elena to start making meals for her son that he'll love coming home to. First up, I've gotta show her how to properly fry chicken. Elena, so what we're gonna make now is my special recipe for some fried chicken and a side dish called succotash. First, why don't we prepare the coating for our chicken? Smell this. Oh, yeah. This is oregano, so we'll add some to our flour because that's gonna give texture and also flavor to the chicken. A little chili powder, pepper, mix it up, and our coating's ready. I've marinated this chicken in buttermilk for four hours. You are going to take the chicken and coat it. Just you know on, what I mean? on the on Yeah, the just make sure it's all covered in the flour nicely. Fried chicken is really not something you're gonna cook often, but when Elena makes this dish, her son Daniel is going to really go crazy, and that's what I want for her. So see how it's kind of medium heat? And there's about a half an inch of oil. So this is called shallow frying. When you tried cooking the chicken before, you used too little oil. Now listen and see what happens in our pan. You see that sizzling? Put all four of them in. You see the color on that? Yeah. See how it's nice and golden brown? Yeah. Now you can flip it over. Now while that's cooking, we're gonna make our succotash. So we're combining some fresh corn and celery in the pan. Then we saute it. Wow. You wanna give it a try? <laughs> okay. Jump! Jump! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> a little bit out, it's okay, that's how we learn. To finish it off, we add some chopped bell peppers and green onions. I'm excited. A lot of color. My kitchen is full of life. Okay, the chicken's done. Let's taste. Look how great that is. Wow. Oh my god. Mm. How is that? So good. <laughs> that's home cooking. Okay, Elena, now that you've made something that your son is gonna love and you love it, are you ready to go back and take a little trip back in time to the old country? Oh, sure. Okay. We'll kill the chicken. <laughs> no. I, I don't kill. Maybe, maybe we're gonna kill a chicken. <laughs> Up next, Elena churns out memories of the old country. Elena's is fun or what? Oh, yeah. And later, she pumps out tasty pastries for an exclusive restaurant. Elena's a terrible cook, but she really wants to make meals that her only son will love. So I'm showing her some dishes that'll keep him coming back for more. Jump! Yes! <laughs> we made some mouth-watering fried chicken. Wow. And now we're gonna go back in time to learn how to make fresh butter. It looks like back home. <laughs> what place is this? Elena, I've brought you here to Black Creek Pioneer Village to learn how to make butter from scratch the way your mom did on the farm. Wow. To help us get into the spirit of the times, we're changing into authentic pioneer clothing. Hey, Carol, how are you? Steve. Good to see you again. Yeah. Very good to see you. Come in, Elena. This is Carol. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, Carol, what, I, I know we're making some butter, but now it's you take over. So, the way that it works is we put some cream in our churn, use our dasher, and we're actually going to agitate the butter right out of there. So, there's our cream. Now we're gonna start churning. So it's a pretty simple process. We're gonna turn the dash up and down. So this is just like making your whipping cream, mm -hmm. except for once you're allowed to overbeat it. Yes. So up and down. <laughs> okay. Woo. Let's keep going, it's keep okay. Going. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> so you might have to go a little bit faster. There you go. Yeah, you have to get a little bit of a twist in there. There you go. Okay. Back and forth, twisting. There you go. Ah, oh, twisting. Yeah. Twisting and up and down. Let's, let's see how we're doing in there. Give me a bit yeah, of a... Okay. Sounds, it feels like we're beginning the swell, which is the first stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not swollen quite yet. Let's see if we can hurry along the process. Now let's get going here. This is the swell. Get those biscuits ready. <laughs> okay, let's see what's happening. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, look at that, way. see? Yeah. So that's your buttermilk dripping, and oh. that was some of your butter starting to chunk up there. Look at that, so that's good, right? Yep. Olena's completely transported to a time when her mom was making butter just like this in the Ukraine. It's great to see her having fun, splashing some cream around. I can't wait to try this as butter on some biscuits. So here's some more. Look at that. So exciting. Now, if you want to reach in there and take your butter out, okay. you take your butter out and put it right in there. It's a real butter. 
Olena, are you ready to try your butter on some fresh biscuits? Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's melting beautifully. It smells so okay, good. Okay, so I can try it. Oh, yeah. you can try it now. World. <laughs> Wait, now I understand why they have all these big dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I need a bigger dress, I think, if I'm going to finish this. Oh, that is good. Great. There you go, Christine. Thank you so much, Carol. Olena, there's your handmade butter. Oh, thank you, made. you so much. Thank you so much. It's, it's really been a pleasure. Thank oh, you very, very much. Thanks for having me visit. Now we're going to go back to Olena's place, take this beautiful butter, and make our own version of a hot and beautiful crispy biscuit right out of the oven. Olena, I know you've always wanted to learn how to bake. I know you love those biscuits that we had. So you and I are going to make delicious Canadian cream cheese biscuits. Now, when you bake, you've got to be really precise. Yeah, this is really okay. scares me. <laughs> so I want to show you how to properly measure. You're going to scoop like this, and then use a spatula to make sure you have exactly the right amount. You need to be exact with everything. Baking powder, baking soda, and the salt. Then we sift it all together. To find bugs? <laughs> to find bugs? <laughs> if there are any bugs in here, that's why we sift it. Now we'll add the butter that we churned, buttermilk, and the Canadian cream cheese. Have you cooked with cream cheese before? I've never even tried it. You've never even no, tried cream no. cheese? Can I let you taste a little bit of cream cheese? So give that a taste. It's a fresh cheese. You like it? Yeah. I like it too. You ready for some magic? Okay. It looks like a mess now, but this mess is going to turn into our Canadian cream cheese biscuits. So right here, we'll just knead it together and then roll it out about a half an inch thick. And then we're going to take our pastry cutter, like that, and cut circles with our dough. So your turn. Gentle. Those look pretty good. And then brush the tops of the biscuits with a little egg wash. Sprinkle each of them with a little bit of sugar. And now they're ready for the oven. 375 for 15 minutes. Wow. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Coming up, Olena pours her enthusiasm into baking for paying customers. <laughs> Not there. It has to go here. And later, will she get burnt by her attempt to cook for friends and family? How's it going, Mom? It's cooking. It's coming. Elena's son knows that she just can't cook. She loves to eat food, it's just she can't prepare it. <laughs> but what Elena really wants is to make meals that'll bring him back home from university on a regular basis. Actually getting hungry. I'm getting hungry too. I taught her how to make fantastic fried chicken. So good. We churned some fresh butter. It's great. And now I'm teaching her how to bake scrumptious Canadian cream cheese biscuits. Good, good, good. Wow! Look at them! <laughs> They're amazing! Open the oven and here they are. The color is beautiful. Yeah, pull those out. Look at that. Look at how you can take a simple biscuit to all kinds of new heights. Wow! Mm. Do you like the flavor of the cream cheese in there? Yeah, absolutely. How, what would you say? One to ten? Oh, it's eleven. <laughs> eleven, <laughs> yes. That's what we want. Elena, we're going to get out of the kitchen and you're going to need to know everything that I taught you here in a big challenge. Okay. I hope I remembered everything. <laughs> I hope you do too. Because if she doesn't remember, she's going to be in trouble. We're off to a high-end restaurant where Elena's making profiteroles with chocolate almond cream. Sound complicated? It is. But if she can pull this off, cooking for her son will be a breeze. Okay, Elena, you're going to make something special. It's going to be dessert, and it's going to be served in this restaurant for dinner tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go meet the chef. Hey, Hi, Martin, how are you? Good. How are you Very doing? good to see you. This is Elena. This is Martin, the chef. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Elena. We're going to be making profiteroles today. Now, we've got two hours before the service hits the fan, so I have high expectations of you. Okay, I tried to meet your expectations. Let's see what we do. Elena, let me tell you what you'll be making. This is your recipe. Profiteroles are small hollow pastries that are filled with cream, and then they're covered with either caramel or chocolate. I want you to measure three cups of flour, and you're going to sift it into this bowl. Now, we're going to measure the water, so let's do three of those. No, 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 no. <gasps> Sorry, I didn't tell you. Not there. It has to go here. Olena just added a little wet to the dry. That's a no-no when you're making profiteroles, so we got to do it again. Is this yeah. good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
As soon as the butter is melted and the water is coming to a boil, we add the flour. The whole thing, all at once. Now mix it up and we're ready for the stand mixer. Okay, now we're going to add these eggs two at a time. Okay, now stop for now stop 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 stop. stop. Okay, we may have a problem there. It looks a little bit too wet. So when I was saying to add two at a time, you add two, then you stop. You add two, then you stop. Because if the pastry batter gets too wet, the profiteroles aren't going to hold their shape. So let me see what's happening. Uh, you know what? I was wrong. We actually need to add a little bit more egg. So let's see now what that has done. So you see now how it falls a little bit more? Yes. I think that's perfect. So now let's stuff our piping bag with the pastry batter, and I'm going to show you how to form the profiteroles. Guys? Oh, what time is it? What you have 45 minutes left, and they're not even in the oven yet. Okay. You've got to cool down, and you've got to get them ready for service. Okay, we're, we're working on it. Okay. okay. These guys still have to bake for 20 minutes. We have 30 minutes left. they got to go in right now. So, Elena, put them right in there in the middle, and then close that door. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, so now while that's going, we got to make the caramel sauce. So caramel sauce is basically sugar and cream. So you're going to put the sugar in the pot until it starts to smoke and it gets a little bit caramelized. You turn it off and then you add the cream. Oh my gosh, you let it go. Ah! Quick, pour the cream in now. The whole thing at once. I don't know. The caramel has cooked too much for my liking. I can really smell the smokiness. The only thing I can do now is just wait for it to cool down enough for us to taste it. If it's bitter, we can't serve it. So, uh, let's taste it. What does it taste like? No, like burnt sugar. It's bitter? Yeah. Yeah, it's too bitter for me. I don't think I want to serve that. easy because it's sugar and a bit of whipping cream, but it's very finicky. Our caramel sauce is bitter and there's no way I'm going to serve this. It's my reputation, it's Martin's reputation, and really we don't want to take away from these beautiful profiteroles. So at this point, I think we only have one option. What do you want to do? Uh, do you have any chocolate sauce? I've got lots of chocolate. You got chocolate But we but have no to sauce. make the sauce, yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, good. Better than the caramel. Definitely good. The chocolate sauce is awesome. But we gotta keep moving because we're running out of time. We have to get the pastry out of the oven, cut these babies in half, fill the bottoms with almond flavored whipping cream, dip the tops into the melted chocolate, and voila, they're ready to be served. So, you are having chocolate almond profiteroles. How's that? Very good. It's nice and creamy, but yes. it's very, very light. I'm so proud to tell people that, uh, you know, I made it. Mm, delicious. <laughs> so are you ready now to go back home and cook a beautiful, special dinner for your son? Yes, I am. Olena may think she's ready, but it's now time for her toughest challenge, cooking an amazing meal solo. Let's hope she can impress her son, Daniel, and the 10 other guests that she's invited. Olena, <laughs> this is the big day. <laughs> This is the first time you're going to cook for 10 guests. And I know the most important guest is your son, Daniel. You're going to make fried chicken supreme with a corn and Swiss chard saute. And this is your solo performance. You have 45 minutes. OK. I'm, I'm very, I'm very nervous. For the first time, I will be serving Daniel with this dish, and I hope that he would like it. The trick to perfectly frying chicken is to get the oil temperature just right. OK, Elena, the one thing that I smell right away I smell the oil, it's really, really hot. See all those bubbles sizzling at the end of the wooden spoon? That means it's too hot. Are you okay? <laughs> you okay? I'm not okay. Why did you invite 10 people, Elena? I wanted to spread the word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serving 10 people. This is my first chance to show the world that I can cook and I can serve food. I'm getting hungry, <laughs> I am. Daniel, could you go and get the dough, please? I don't know if there's enough food now. What? <laughs> okay, no, there is. We're just kidding. Okay. Good. Okay, so go and have a seat, guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. So, Danny, are you excited? 
Yeah, I'm very excited. A little bit scared, but excited. I hope she doesn't make the uh, cottage cheese pancakes again. Yeah, those are horrible. Yeah. How's it going, Mom? It's cooking. It's coming. You will have a surprise. I uh, really want to please my family, and I really want them to enjoy what, uh, what I cook, because I'm sharing my love with them. Be careful, that's hot. Good. Dinner time. Me too. <laughs> They're a lot better than the cottage cheese pancakes, I must say. There's so much flavor there. They're really, really good. You're definitely going to have to make this again. Oh, I will. We can do it. <laughs> good. <laughs> it's perfect. Like, I've never tasted better. <laughs> mm, I'm so good. <laughs> It's been such a fun journey helping to build Olena's culinary confidence. And with all these new tricks up her sleeve, her son's gonna be rushing home for more of mom's amazing meals. It's changed my life. My son, he's so excited. This is what I was hoping for. I think a round of applause. Visit myviva.ca slash fearless in the kitchen.